This is Patrick Murphy Racy, uh, Sony Artisan of Imagery. I'm pretty excited today because I got a box. And inside the box is the brand new Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro, which I'm pretty excited about. I've had the A10 Mini for about six months and it was awesome and it was great, but you couldn't see on screen what you were doing. You just had to remember which camera was hooked into what input. So this is just going to be an unboxing video because that's what people do on YouTube. They do unboxing videos, which I don't really understand. But my son, who's 16, says that that's what I have to do. So I'm going to be obedient to my boy. And uh, here it is. Um, so we're going to open up the uh, box and see what's inside. Um, I'm very excited about the new capabilities of this uh, new switcher. And in this coronavirus moment, uh, lots of us that have never live streamed before are having to figure it out. And uh, here's my receipt, which is nice, but I don't need that. And I got a bunch of uh, pink popcorn, which I will recycle dutifully. Uh, and the best way to recycle pink popcorn, right, is to send it to somebody else. And that's what I do. So. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit of a mess here getting this out, I'm afraid, but that's okay. It was packed up really well, and here it is, and it's like shiny little box. I'm going to set this aside. Okay, so includes ATEM software control, it says. Uh, this is really important. <clears throat> the ATEM software control expands the capability of the hardware by a mile. You get like an entire audio board mixer that's in there with um, EQ and compression and it, it's pretty awesome. So um, the and the, the thing that's cool about the um, the ATEM software control is that it is software controlling hardware which means at any time Blackmagic can increase the value of what the A10 Mini Pro can do with a future firmware update. They can add features, they can do all kinds of stuff, which you can't do with just a straight up hardware piece of equipment. And so it's so smart that they did this where that's the case. Um, so I'm stoked about that too. So here's the wrap off, and now the moment that I've been waiting for. Uh, it was a long two days to wait for this. And uh, there's like instruction manuals and it says, uh, yeah, this is cool. Um, they basically have a little, uh, like a software thing on here and it shows you the little SD card and what it's saying is, hey, um, instead of doing like a disc, like old school ways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just send you to our website where you're gonna be able to download the latest software, which is smart because it gets a, a, a new user immediately interested in the website and the support areas, which is smart. So the first thing we're going to pull out is the power supply. Looks identical. Well, almost identical. This one has all the different tip plugs in it for the various countries, which is kind of cool. Um, there's actually, looks like you can go to China, Japan, Europe, and a bunch of other places. So this is the one that I need right there, AC baby. And that's going to go, just slide in. It's very similar to the old Apple uh, Apple one. So uh, I'm gonna just going to slide this in like that. And now it's ready for 110 AC. I'm going to pull the top off here and set that aside. Okay, so here it is, the A10 Mini Pro. Now, in some of the... Um, some of the advertising I've seen on this, it almost looks like... Um, it might be a little bit bigger than the A10 Mini, but in fact, it's the exact same size. Um, so everything that you see in this part of the board here is all the same, all the way to here and then down here, but the part that's up here is all new. And um, so that's kind of cool. Um, a couple of things I know about this machine before I've ever used it before um, it has uh, the ability to record into any USB external hard drive, which is huge. You don't need to have an Atomos, you know, you don't have to have a $1,000 uh, recorder for video to be able to capture this. Um, so you can come right out of the USB out, which is right there, uh, USB out, um, and then you can go right into a hard drive, which is sweet. 
Um, that'll save people a lot of money and time, and it'll make this even more approachable in terms of all the stuff you have to buy to get this thing rolling, which is great. Um, it has the HM, H, HDMI out right here, which is really important because you can use that to go to an external monitor. You can go to an external recorder like an Atomos that's HDMI recording, um, whatever. So that's, that's really great. Um, the thing that is so cool, though, is the software edition. So in, in, in the old way, you would have to like remember what you had and which camera was in one, what was in two, what was in three, and what was in four. And as you went through your show live, you just had to remember which was which. Now you're going to be able to actually watch the entire thing on screen on a laptop uh, or a big computer with, a, with an external monitor and a mouse. And it's going to be just like it looks in Adobe Premiere when you do a multi-camera sync um, or any, any other software that does this where it'll handle multiple cameras. So the, the great advantage of the A10 Mini Pro is that it gives you a better um, interface with the software. The software is more powerful than it was in the A10 Mini, and you get this ability to actually see all of your video feeds that you're choosing to make your cuts, which is tremendous. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it adds a couple of new buttons. Uh, there's record and stream, and there's like an on-air button and a record button and a stop button. So this is kind of significant. I'm not sure if this will focus that close, but this is really neat. This is new, and this is, this is new here. Sorry, I'm backwards what I'm normally doing. And then everything else is the same. All the wipes and all the, you know, the black. It's just really cool to have this. So this is really going to be a powerful asset to me um, as I continue to learn how to stream and create video content for YouTube. Um, this is such an incredible teaching tool. Um, I'm also seeing a future of doing, uh, whenever, whenever the coronavirus sort of thing is over or it waned and we can actually get out of our houses again, I think I'm going to be taking this little guy with me to do talks because I can um, basically put in um, an input like a laptop into one of these inputs and I could run Keynote off my Mac and I could decide anytime I want to to change, you know, from that to the camera menu. Like I could have a camera plugged in directly to this as an input. And so there's a lot of things that I think um, people maybe haven't thought about about live production talks, like TED Talks and things like that. So I think this is not going to sit at my home all the time and just be in my like home studio. I think I'm going to take this thing on the road sometimes, and for, certainly for doing live. Um, production, there's no cheaper way to do this. This is amazing. Um, so I'm pretty excited about the ATEM Mini Pro and um, I am um, really can't wait to do my next video which will actually do, I'll use what's called ScreenFlow and I will show you that interface and kind of do a little mini review on the ATEM Mini Pro but I can't do that right now. i got other stuff i got to do today. A lot of editing and stuff. Uh, but I will get to that and then post that as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching my unboxing video of the new A10 Mini Pro. And uh, I can't wait to get started and uh, try to put the hood up on this thing and really find um, a new way to do production that's a lot more effective and efficient. So uh, I'm Patrick Murphy Racy, Sony Artisan, saying thanks for watching. And please subscribe if this is useful to you. I need more subscribers. If you need this content, I need subscribers. So share this as much as you can uh, to people that it makes sense to share to. And uh, have a great day and be safe. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching.